What's up guys, Ian Sandusky from Lakewood Machine and Tool back here again for Practical Machinists as we continue our live coverage of EMO 2025. And of course, we are back here at DMG Mori World. Right now, I'm joined by Irene. Hi. Thank nice. you very much for having very us today. Very welcome in our DMG Mori World. <laughs> How has the show been so far for you? The show was really busy, really. We had a lot of uh, customers that visited us here. So our, yeah, you know, we have a huge team here. So everybody was super busy in the last days. And yeah, that's what we want and that's what we are making it for. <laughs> for sure. And I mean, this place is probably the most insane booth I've ever seen. You know, you've seen a little bit of this out there, but what would you think if someone from 1985 or 1980, you know, back as this trade used to be, walked into the show and saw the DMG Mori World? Wow, I love the question. <laughs> to reflect a little bit. Well, I think the people from 1985, they would be surprised uh, how far we have, we have come and um, yeah, how much technology, not in isolation, they can see now because it's not more a machine tool in a silo thinking. It's much more connected automation, digitization, how we work with partner, how we develop. And um, yeah, so it's about the technology, how far we have come, but also about the culture in the machine tool industry. And that's something you guys seem to really put a lot of focus on here. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what kind of sets DMG Mori apart on that culture front. Yeah, so the culture is super important for us and to create the culture which is, which is open for innovation. Uh, so which means include all the ideas our colleagues have um, and also a culture where we yeah, cooperate and communicate a lot because as I said at the beginning, cooperation is so important you know, as within our colleagues but also with the partners to innovate together with customers, to innovate together uh, together with partners, with the peripheral uh, suppliers. So super important for the machine tool industry. Makes a lot of sense. And I mean, it's clearly on display here from when we walk in. The one thing I did want to ask about, one difference between this booth and a lot of even other shows I've been to, mm -hmm. there were a lot of young people here at the show. Yes. And it's something we talk about constantly. We need fresh blood in the trade, but you don't see them getting pulled out and being brought through these booths a lot. How did you guys manage to pull that off and what are your thoughts in that direction? Yeah, so next generation, we need the next generation in the machine tool industry and the industry in, in general. So uh, we have to showcase and we have to invite those young people. No? So I think this is super important. That's why we on the one hand cooperate with, of course, research institutes, with, uh, with universities. But on the other hand, we have to start with the young people, right? With all those who think about vocational training, because vocational training is also very important. We need the experts, of course, from the university, but we also need the people at the machines, the vocational training in our industry. And that's why, of course, we invited a lot of schools and uh, try to cooperate with them on an early stage. That makes sense. And I mean, the one thing I think you guys are doing extremely well is back in the day, what was machining? Dark, dirty, dangerous. Thank you walking into a, an experience like this and seeing you know the machines that look like spaceships that are making parts that are going to space it's really changed the impression and the draw to i think yeah. young people it made it look cool again it made it look interesting and exciting yes. one last question before i let you go because i'm very yeah, sorry about that <laughs> i'm happy to talk to you <laughs> but right now we went from dmg mori city to dmg mori world mm -hmm. what's next for dmg mori oh what's next so first of all the dmg mori should be a place as you said um, to put the machine tool, the industry, the digitization, the automation in one world which works together and to have a place where we bring the people together who start to generate ideas and make it really, really um, visible for the next generation right. because machine tool and the industry is fundamental for modern life as you, as you already said. No? So um, we have a lot in the program also for the next, uh, for, the, for the coming years. And um, especially the Dim Shimori world uh, will be also brought to our factories, to other uh -huh. areas, right? So uh, this concept is now a concept which will accompany us in the next years, I would say, but we will always develop it further. And if people didn't get a chance to come here to Emo Hanover to check out DMG Mori World, where can they go to find out more about DMG Mori? Okay, they can come to our showrooms, which we have globally. They can come to our factories, which we have globally. So we uh, invite our customers to visit the DMG Mori World. And they're incredible. Thanks a lot. Yes, okay, <laughs> of yeah. course. So that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's our purpose. And please come and visit us and uh, yeah, cooperate with us. And let's have a good conversation. I think this is super important. Absolutely. And, yeah, let's work together for the next generation in our industry. Thank you very much for joining Thanks us. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for coming. Really and of cool. course, make sure if you get the chance, come by DMG Mori World here at EMO 2025. And if not, make sure you get on the 